Hello everybody, I'm back with another stream and before I go too far I am going to go to my channel and make sure that my um, stream is appearing in Makers and Crafting and not in Just Chatting because uh, it has been doing that lately and I cannot figure out why. So I did some screenshots, I sent a ticket in but we're just gonna we're just gonna go in and we're gonna make sure that it's in makers and crafting. <sighs> it's in just chatting. Oh my god, Twitch, fix this now. Seriously. This is annoying. Okay updating. I have, I've now changed this three times. So, I don't know. It looks like I'm buffering now. Twitch is mad at me. Okay. All right. Okay. So we're good. We're good. I think. Let me just double check to see if that's stuck. Oh, everything's running so slowly. Why is everything running so slowly? They sigh. Oh, it's not fixed yet. Oh my god. Sorry about this, guys. I keep editing this. This is now the fourth time I've changed this from just chatting uh, to Makers and Crafting. It's not working. Okay, hopefully that saves it. I, I don't know. Moving on, um, I'm going to play... What am I going to play today? Let's do... Hey, wow, Cradle Filth has really changed. Um... I want to do... Let's just go with Corpus Clowney. That's a good... Good standard. Oh, look, vodka. Okay. All right. So, I think now that we're all squared away, hopefully, and not in maker, and not in uh, just chatting anymore. So, what I'm working on is I'm going to start working on Lunara's uh, chest plate thingy. It's a little dark because the storm just storm is slowly passing over. Um, so I got this piece ready for cutting. I got this piece um, kind of set up. Um, this is I used the rapid fill on this. I'm gonna sand it down here in a minute and then I'm gonna coat this one in the same. But I'm going to work on the red thing real quick. Let's get all of our tools and shit off the table. Okay. I have no idea where this came from. I swear I know what I'm doing. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, geez. Cheese and crackers. I'm sure this came from in here somewhere. Okay. All right. So I bought some red fabric here. I found this in the, um, oh, uh, what would you call it? The, uh, end of bolt, whatever the, the buckets are where, you know, it's less than a yard. So it was like half off. It was the right color that I was looking for. Um, it's even stretchy. So.
going to find my selvage edge here. Grab my pattern piece. So when I did the um, uh, pinning and putting this up on the mannequin, I didn't realize that my um, muslin had some weird stuff going on with it. I just threw it up there and said, oh, this will work. And I don't know exactly what happened. So I'm going to trace around and I'm just going to cut Oops. along there. Your home is important. That's why GEICO helps make it easy to save on condo insurance. Because home is more than just a place. Home is where you took minimalism too far because there's only one chair in your entire condo and your only entertainment is one card. Not even a deck of cards, but a single card. And all your guests have to share one plate and one cord, but you're convinced that less stuff means more freedom. The GEICO Insurance Agency could help protect oh, the overly minimalist brand. You gotta stop that. Home. Call GEICO and see how easy it is to switch and save on condo insurance. Odin, stop being an attention whore. Oh, we got a lot of lightning going on still. See, now if you come over and ask for attention nicely, I will give you attention. That's how that works. But I will yell at you if you start pulling shit like you're about to start pulling shit. Come here. Come here. Come on. You're half dog. Come over here. Don't sass me. Good boy. Good boy, Odin. See? When you come over, you get all the attention you want. Okay. Worst case scenario is I kind of just cut this off. But I need it to sit correctly. Odin? No! Hey! No! You are going to get locked out if you don't stop. Locked out. Get out. I swear to God, it's like having a two year old. Oh, you don't want me to do this thing? Totally gonna do this thing. Oh, you said not to do that. Oh, man. Jeez. Totally didn't hear you there, Ma. I was too busy doing the thing you told me not to do.
the next thing I want to do is I want to mark these lines here. I really wonder what happened to my chalk. My chalk was on this table. There it is. It's hiding amongst the, uh, uh, what's my jiggies? PVC. Okay, good. It also still kept my title. That was the other thing I was worried about. Okay, what happened to my ruler? This will work for the time being. I'm working it on the right side of the fabric. Whoopsies! Oh well. It will come off with ironing. You know what? I'm just going to redo this on the back side. Now this is the bust dart, in case you were curious at all. Ha! Oh, that would have been bad.
That did not work very well. You know, I wonder how the uh, storm that just passed over is going to affect um, the holiday celebrations that are going to inevitably happen everywhere. Alright, that actually worked out really well. Alright, so there's one down. One side. Fantastic. That one worked out a lot better. Amazing what happens when you have the right tools for the stuff you're working on. Okay, so we're going to set that one aside for just a moment because the sewing machine is a little buried right now. Okay. I'm just going to pull up my unified chat for Mob Crush just in case I get anybody on YouTube. I never do, but you never know. Huh. It's not even working. Cool. Unless I somehow went offline. No? Interesting. I have no idea. Ever since I got Mob Crush, shit's been just like going wrong. Oops. Looks like I forgot to get that right there. It's okay. I gotta do this second time. So... There it is. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand this down a little bit, sand this down a little bit, and then I'm going to sand these edges down, because as you can see on this one, I sanded the edges down on this. i got to glue some of this back down. But, yeah, that way it's all nice and fancy looking. And that 
is why I need to glue down sections of the last one. I hate people set fireworks off. Get it! It's 4th of July! Stop it! stuff that I'm using, not this fine finish, I'm not using that yet, but is it flexes with the rest of the, the part. So I don't have to worry about it, like, because it, it feels really hard, but it flexes. There is no cracking that I'm seeing 
anywhere. Unless, you know, I'm pulling off my pieces. Trying to find my screwdriver. There it is. No, Odin, you don't get to come in. Let's close this up. Oh man, another storm? Yeah, this is the same. This is the same. Alright, screw it. That path, the storm's already passed. I had to go move my car. Shit, I closed that. I had to go move my car so that it didn't get hail damage. This poor guy. Um, while I was sitting under the uh, garage thing. Um, he, uh, he didn't get the top down on his Jeep Wrangler. So I watched him go out as soon as the hail was done and like dig out two inches worth of hail from his his uh, driver's side of the car, and I was like, "Oh man, that sucks." Feel bad, but I don't. At the same time, like you live in Colorado, you should know this is hail season. To not leave your vehicle um, uncovered. All right, there's that one. Okay. Dremel might just be a little too abrasive for this. on a quick sanding.
method instead of plasti dipping this time. Um, I noticed when I did my plasti dip the last time that I had a lot of areas that were just lumpy when you got really close to them. Um, in that when you looked at it, you had this really uh, obviously not flush edge. And the... Um, Plasti dip just made that worse. So I'm trying to see if I can um, like keep that from happening. So I am going to go grab a wet washcloth.
there's a better chance your local GEICO agent could help you out with auto, homeowners, renters, or condo insurance. Motorcycle, boat, or RV insurance, too. They'll work hard to provide... Just to kind of get some of this extra stuff off here. Share a laugh pattern to do that. Local GEICO agents, call or visit yours today. Make this a little bit more smooth so I don't get all sorts of powder in there from sanding all that off. <sighs> Although with as cheap a paper towel as that was, Probably did more damage than good. Well, maybe that was a second storm. Oh, I hope this one doesn't bring hail. There we go. That's better. Let's find our scrap paper. All right, so I'm gonna let that one dry for a second. We're gonna do this one first. All right, so what I'm using is I'm using Rapid Fill by uh, Prop Monkey Studios. Um, TNT Cosplay sent this over to me um, as a free sample. And it appears to be working for the most part. You know, it's. It's doing, it's doing its job. Uh, the thing I'm happy, most happy about is the fact that this is flexible. So, uh, it, it's already kind of taking the place of Plasti Dip for me because I need a surface over this to, to paint my acrylic paints on. And that's why I was doing the Plasti Dip because it sealed it seal the foam anyway. This is kind of doing the same thing. The nice thing about this is it's making my seams like next to disappear. Plasti Dip doesn't have that. Plasti Dip makes them worse. If you don't get them set before you put your Plasti Dip down. And the, also the instructions on this say to um, push your brush in in pretty much every direction to get this really into all the pores. It also said it takes about an hour to dry. You can use a hair dryer. Um, to make that go a little bit faster, but I I don't have a hair dryer <laughs> um, because I don't I don't dry my hair. I use a towel and then let it let it uh, let it air dry. It's just not an appliance that I've ever thought that I needed. I think I had one when I was in high school. I don't know what happened to it. You know, when you move out of your parents' house at 17, you're like, I'm going to take all these things, and then somehow half of those things don't make it. Yeah, that was me. Mm -hmm. 
Better not start hailing again. I'm going to be sad. All right, so this one has two coats and this one has one coat, so I'm gonna write that down just so I don't forget. I'm gonna go wash this out, guys. I will be right back. Thank you. 
Okie dokie, I'm back and I bring food. Because I'm hungry, um, I had Chick-fil-A for lunch, which was a bad idea. Um, yeah. So I'm going to have pizza, which is probably another bad idea. And by that, I mean have a ton of Parmesan with my pizza. Okay. Let those cool down for a second. That's already looking a lot nicer. And I think makes a smooth surface on EVA foam. Strong, flexible, sandable, and bonds well to most things. Brush on a thin coat of, with a soft, fine hair brush. Sandable after 30 minutes, can be wet sanded after 24 hours if product becomes too thick, blah, blah, blah. For best results in EVA foam pours with, uh, fill in EVA foam pours with rapid fill first. Okay. So, I need to make sure that this is all cured. This doesn't tell me how to do, how many coats to do, though. I guess we'll see what it looks like after two coats here, if I need to add another one or not. Um, so next up, we're going to start working on the, um, boob plate pieces. I mean, I guess we're already working on the boob plate pieces, but, you know, more work. love that I had made for a different costume and um, I think I think I'm gonna use it for the base of Lunara's um, left spear glovey thing because she's got like wood that comes up her arm so I think I'm gonna use this as a base um, yeah so I think that project did not go so well and that's why I only made one of those like, it, it frustrated me, and I hate making gloves in general. So, I stopped halfway through, obviously, because there's only one glove made. I'm trying to clear off some of the space here so that I can uh, start moving the sewing machine over. Oh man, there's so much stuff on here that needs to be cleaned. I got that uh, blue insulation foam literally everywhere. Sina with the Air National Guard. Not a fan of this. Uh, uh, 
advertisement. The guy that's, that's like doing the advertising, I think, is some famous rapper. And I know I keep promising uh, Spotify Premium, so no advertising. I just haven't gotten around to it, to be honest. When you do an outing? Now I gotta find the power cord. Hey, buddy. Do you know how much you're in the way right now? But you're adorable. Yeah, you're adorable. He's like, no, don't do that. Mom, you're making me look bad on camera. Uh-uh, mine. Alright, I'm taking this denim needle off because that's way overpowered for what I'm working on. So I am going to need a 90. Okay. I'm getting a specific for stretch fabrics needle. Hopefully I don't break it, as I am wont to do. So it's telling me I need between four and Odin. Stop. You're going to get locked out again. Four and six top thread tension. Three presser foot. Where's your ball? All right, let's make you another ball.
so easily entertained, I swear. this I'm just gonna stitch down my line simple as that basically sewing in a dart helps if my presser foot is in the right place Actually, just makes our our boob dart. Just making sure that this was the same, not the same piece that I'm stitching here. So that would be bad. I'd have a bad time. I'd have two left boobs.
Give it. Okay. Oh, please don't be hailing again. Okay. It's not. It's just really big raindrops. Stays as rain. You know, I'm not really worried about this because there's going to be a plate over that. Everything is the worst 
I cry to this. Songs stupid people like. Meg is one of the most negative people on Spotify. So when we wanted to prove that new Vita Coco with pressed coconut is impossible to hate, we asked her to try it. It's okay, actually. New Vita Coco pressed. Impossible to hate. <laughs> honey come here good boy that's how you get attention instead of being annoying you just be cute okay can you do that I'm gonna put my plate away. Is that your paper toy? Why are you playing? All right, first, first question is why did I put this on the floor? Second question is why are you playing with a piece of paper over a knife? Okie dokie. Okay, so the next section on here. Okay. Oh, stop being a diva and hissing at me. I touched your foot. starting to look like a deer. Or at least a centaur.
Don't stab yourself. That's bad. That wouldn't be a costume of mine if I didn't bleed on it. No! I just ripped it. Cool. I guess that's what you get for making it out of paper, but... gonna be really good. Still bleeding. This is not normal for my uh... Uh... What do you call it? It's not normal. There we go. Oh, that's right. My scissors are out in the other room. can't see a damn thing I'm doing. I still can't see what I'm doing. Man.
Well, that's that's a shame. I guess that's a little better. It's about as best as I can do with my broken shutters over there. Alright, so I'm going to attempt to get this sewn down. If I can find a needle, I did. Fantastic. Where Odin just does things to piss me off. Odin! Stop! Okay, I'm gonna just check to make sure those are even. I didn't even touch you that time, you big baby. Stop. Wow, those are super not even. Let's see if those are even. I still need to shift a little bit.
July 12th, the most outrageous comedy of the year arrives. We're the good guys. He's a cop. I'm my tuber. Critics are calling Stuber the funniest movie of the summer. Don't take back. <laughs> Stuber, we are in theaters July 12th. There are jewelry stores, and then there's Engage. Engage is the only engagement ring destination in all of Colorado, and it's an experience that you won't find anywhere else. Because we've created Engage around the way today's shoppers want to shop. It's current, it's modern, it's cutting edge. It's unlike any other jewelry buying experience, and it's something that you have to see for yourself. For a more personal, more customized experience, come to Engage in the Cherry Creek Shopping Center. Engage. What makes us different is everything. Let's consider the secret life of the innermost nesting doll. Eh, that looks a lot better. Dark inside the other nesting dolls, she has plenty of time to think, if she could. Sadly, she has no brain. However, when an innermost nesting doll hears that Geico not only saves people money, but also has been providing great service for over 75 years, she thinks it's obvious you should switch. Because yes, hey. switching to Geico is a no-brainer. Pity the innermost nesting doll and her lot in life. All right, so I'm just gonna hand stitch this on. I'm not really gonna spend a whole lot of time um, doing much of anything, really. I'm just gonna put some tacks in on this because it needs to stretch. Flyers for this. Try not to stab yourself. That's bad. Ever since I got nails, hand stitching like this has just been so much more difficult.
Odin, stop it. I feel like I'm gonna have one one viewer this whole time because of the holiday. So whoever you are, I appreciate you sticking around. Sounds like you've been here the entire time. Unless that's one of the auto hosts that one of my uh, followers has on me. That's entirely possible. Odin? I don't even have to look at you to know what you're doing. Odin, stop it. The next time you do that, you're going to get locked out. Oh boy, fireworks. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> I appreciate you. Anybody who's sitting here doing this instead of out grilling or hanging out with family is uh, uh, just like me. Because clearly I'm here and not outside exploding things. I'm being anti-American. I'm not outside drinking a beer and exploding things. Oh my god, I don't love my country enough. I cannot believe that was insinuated. What the fuck is wrong with this administration, I swear. If you don't go and watch 4th of July fireworks, then you're not American. Uh, okay. Whatever you say. We don't, well, obviously, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure you guys have your own Independence Day that you explode things or celebrate in some fashion. Today is just uh, another day for you guys. I got, I got all day off of work, so I had, I had a very busy day, actually. I, um, I went mattress shopping. I did the most adulty thing I could possibly think of and went mattress shopping. Because I am sick of my back hurting every morning when I get out of bed. They're having a fantabulous sale where I bought my mattress at. It was uh, 
spend more than $800 essentially and we'll give you a free adjustable base with head and feet. So I was like, hmm, me thinks that's a good sale. Free base. I was gonna get a bed that costs more than $800 anyway, so. It's for Happy Merc a day. Hello, Art and Props, how are you? Did you fit just finish up a, a stream? I would say happy Merca Day, but I don't think you're in Merca. If I remember correctly, you're in Canada. I'm working on Lunara's uh, boob plates here. Trying not to bleed too much on my costume. You and you and uh, Spark Two Cosplay are my only watchers because of the holiday. I'm assuming. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's a thing. I've had I've I'm on, I've been on for about an hour and a half now, I guess, and I've I've only had one one person watching. Nobody wants to watch stream on exploding day or explosions day. This needle is just so small that I'm forced to use a pair of jewelry pliers to get it through. Trying also very hard not to stab myself, and I've already done that once. I'm gonna find my. Oh, hey, look! Is this what you wanted me to throw out in? I'm gonna go find my thimble. I am just about pushing the head of the needle up through my middle finger when I'm stitching. Maybe that'll help with getting. All this. That's oh, kind of helping. This grilling season, you only need three things to man the grill a little flame, an awesome playlist, and the incredible flavor of Grill Mates. America's number one grilling seasoning. The greatest combo of high quality spices. Just flame and flavor. Find it in the spice aisle. On July 12th, the most outrageous comedy of the year arrives. What a good guy, he's a club. I'm a YouTuber. It's a calling stupid, the funniest movie of the Did season. you bring that? Don't take back. Yeah? Where'd it go? Where'd you drop it up? Oh, there it is. We're playing fetch. Grilling season. Holy moly, this is so American. Yeah, it's America Day. Trust me. 
Our president has decided to take us from a democracy to a nationalist uh, society because he wanted he wanted a uh, military parade just like they do in France. I think for Bastille, Bastille Day. He saw it and he's like, I have to do that too. I'm a big baby. Oh my god. So there are all these newspapers um, going over what the what the definition of nationalism is, and it's exactly what he's doing. Forcing people to watch a military parade simply because it's it's American to do to watch this military parade. I'm like, wow. Wow. This orange buffoon can't be gone soon enough, man. And he won't. <sighs> Trina? You did. Good job. starting to get dark. Fireworks shows are starting to think about being being a thing. There's so many people out right now that are just sitting on wet picnic blankets on wet grass so that they can watch some colorful explosions. Freak out their dogs. I'm sure most of these people have dogs that they've just left at home. Okay, Odin. Okay, I see you. We had 110 followers today. Nice! I'm at 63. <laughs> I'm thinking... I'm thinking that if I get into the TwitchCon finalists that I might get more people. And I was hoping that I would get more people tagging my my streams with TwitchCon, but that hasn't worked. Did you bring it back? Where is it? Oh, it's at my other foot. You will get up there, just start heading to other Twitch streams and interact. Yeah, I I really wish I could, uh, but my work, my work schedule has has me so busy. I'm not going to get a night to myself for the next, like, two months, because I'm so busy with releases, which is not sustainable in the least. My last job also allowed me to watch Twitch streams while I was at work, because I didn't really have much to do. But this this place, there's no way. A, they've got the internet so far locked down, and B, uh, I just I'm so busy there. My last job was a single application. My new job is 10 applications. So I, I am infinitely more busy. More busy or busier? I, I don't know. I'll get you in a second, Odin. See you down there. Being a good boy. There's one side, mostly done. OK. 
Okay. Yeah, that's gonna work out real nice, real nice like. Um, let's take a break from this real quick. Work on these again. They should be dry by now. So that's the next part of this. All right, so this, this is 150. see how how this turned out with two coats This uh, fine fit, this rapid fill from Pop, Pop Monkey. Uh, this is what I'm using for all of this. Do you know if you have used it? How many um, how many layers did you put down of the rapid fill? Wow, that's a lot of money. Yikes! You want to use? Um, I got this from Evil Ted's uh, stream a while back. Uh, for freezies. Like, it, it's a free sample. See that? Free sample! Um, so yeah, see if, see if you can probably get some. I can't imagine that you can't. Especially if you just ordered from them. Cosplay does sell it, but I'm wondering if they if they give away free samples because that's what I got. Yeah, I, for whatever reason, TNT Cosplay. I mean, they're expensive, but not as expensive as some of the places that I've seen. Like Yaya Han has her own uh, foam line now, I guess. And I saw it in Joanne's earlier, I think yesterday or today, and I was just like, holy cow, you're getting away with charging what for this now?
be made of gold. I mean, seriously, it was it was twice the price of TNT cosplay for for half the size. As um, as Cullen's Workshop pointed out, it's ridiculous. There's no need to sell that for that amount of money. Like that's. I don't know if you guys saw a couple years back. There was a right when Yaya Han started selling her her uh, fabric line. There was a picture that said from a Joann's that said cost play C O S T P L Y, and it was shared literally everywhere as a like pretty much an accurate representation of what was going on. And I I worked at that Joann's. I actually took that picture. Um, or one of them, because there was also uh, Tekka Cosplay who was standing right next to me. And I think hers got shared more than mine, obviously, but um, yeah, we both took the picture and it's pretty accurate. And it was all of Yaya's um, fabric. It was like $24.99 a yard was, it, and her foam is the same way. To this day, I still can't understand why people buy her stuff. Like, that stuff gave me hives or rash or something when I even touched it to put it away on the shelf. Can't imagine wearing that stuff. $60 a meter? Wow. I guess it helps to have a, a contact in the United States that can send stuff to you then, right? party here instead of watching fireworks on Merca Day. I like this. I like this a lot. <laughs> I got Australia represented. I got Canada represented. Instead of going out and watching fireworks, I'm in here working on sanding a boob plate. of her home. Some people mentioned it was fairly soft. I want to see if that's true or not. You know, I didn't even touch it. I just saw the price on it and I was like, nope. If it's if it's soft, I don't know if that's like a great thing. If it's soft, how well is it going to hold its shape? You know? I'm probably just going to stick with TNT. They've never led me wrong so far. Odin! This is actually turning out really nicely. It's the 90s again, guys. 
The Lion King is in theaters! Yeah! While supplies last, head to your local grocery store and hunt down participating cereals to collect all. That is my seam. It's like almost non-existent. The only reason you can see it is because, a hey, this thing right here. Don't look at that. Um, because it's wet. So, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. You're not going to see that from far enough away. Plus, I still have one more layer to put on. So, this one we're going to do with 120. And then there's me who just can't be arsed with foam. <laughs> you know, this was, this is, this is literally my fourth foam project. Literally. So if I can do it, you can do it. for seams I have not all I've actually used is a uh, Dremel uh, caulk for filling in like bathtubs and whatnot and uh, this rapid fill stuff which you're not supposed to use for seams but I did anyway because I'm a rebel Corporate Kalani is playing at and their live shows uh, based on what language they're speaking. This this festival was done or this this recording was done in the United States because they're speaking English. Um question is how's the rapid fill? Uh it's actually working pretty well. Uh this one here has uh two layers of the rapid fill on it. Um I think I think I want to put one more layer of that rapid fill on after doing um, um, a sanding with 150. This one is a 120, so it's a little bit more coarse. But this one needs a lot more work and it's only had one coat. But yeah, I, I like it. It's, it's doing its job. It's, it's a... Uh, It's flexible, so none of this is cracking or anything, and yeah, it's, it's doing what it's supposed to do, which makes me very happy. Cause I was gonna do plasti dip, and then I was like, you know what? I have, I have this stuff that I've gotten as a free sample. Hi, Aries. Might as well use it, try it out, see what happens. Aries is, uh, Aries is hungry. He's trying to remind me that, um, it's past his food time.
You have very thick Finnish accent. Yes. Yeah, I like this song. So this one's probably going to need a lot more work than the other one. I had a, a few more mess ups on this one. So there's some pieces right in here that are needing to be filled a lot better. And then this right here got really, really textured somehow. So I got to fill that in as well. So this one might take more than two coats. So let's go with this one right quick. Do you know you're in the way? Do I have any foam clay? I don't. I do not. I wish I did. I wish I did. All I've got is this rapid fill and this fine finish. That's, that's all I have. I gotta go get my paintbrush. Are you hungry, Aries? All right, I'm gonna feed them. So Aries came in here to remind me that it's time for food and two of those four bowls out there are still full. Wet down, foam clay and spread it around, tongue depressor and use it like spot honey. Yeah, I was using um, Citadel green stuff originally, but I don't have any more of that left. So far, I'm actually liking this a lot more than Plasti Dip. I, my Plasti Dip just ended up getting dribbles no matter what I did. I put I put the can in warm water. I, I did everything you're supposed to do, and I still ended up with dribbles and uh, um, sections where there was, like, bubbles that had dried and popped. So... Trying to paint over that and paint that. Oh, looks like I got a follower. I gotta move that. Do, do, do. Uh, is it the event list? No, alert box. Yes, we're gonna move the alert box up so I can actually see who this is now. Okay, lock that. Oh, I didn't know you weren't already following me, Spark Do Cosplays. I thought I thought you were for sure, man. But thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Since you've been lurking there so long, yeah. He 
know, the other thing I was using as a as a filler was um, was a Loctite something or other. I don't remember what it was. I did that on Eowyn's helmet because that was all I had on hand. I, you know, I didn't have anything to buy. I didn't have any money to buy it. So, um, yeah, I, I ended up using some Loctite adhesive or something. That worked out pretty well. It stank though. It stank quite a bit. This has a bit of a smell to it, but nothing, nothing toxic. Super glue. It was a. It was a. I don't know. It was a. It was an adhesive that you use for like baseboards and drywall, dried clear and whatnot. coat on that one and now we're going to do the second coat on this one about this is that I was really, really worried that the beveling that I did with my Dremel was going to adversely affect how it looked overall. And I'm finding that on this one, all my beveled edges don't look nearly as fried or frayed anymore, which makes me much happier. Because they were, they were in pretty bad shape. You can kind of see them still on this one but they're not as bad anymore anyway. Why does this sound like a bunch of goats singing? Oh my God, that is not how that song goes. I wonder how drunk they were.
All right. I think this is going to be its last its last layer before I put the fine finish on that one. I will be right back, my friends, and I'm going to go wash my paintbrush. Oh wow, the accordion and the um, violin are like so off. Okay. All right, let's go back to this. Let those dry. Oh, now let's move our be right back thing. Don't get me started on dremeling foam. I'm covered in it. It's hair in my ears. I hate it. That was me earlier today. Uh, I it's, it's still kind of all over the table. So yeah, I, I, I know those feels. I know those feels. paint that I need actually today while I was at Walmart. I didn't really care that it was cheap paint. I just cared that it was acrylic. gonna run a quick tack in this because can't stitch this one underneath like I did the other side. Oh man, whoever is singing the second voice is so off key right now. It's driving me nuts. Do 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 do. I'm stabbing myself in the hand. That feels so awesome.
All right. I wonder what the best kind of um, glue to use on putting fabric onto the back of EVA foam would be. Because I'm at a loss for that one. Unless any of you guys know which one, what, what I should be using. Ah, gotta use this thing again. Otherwise I'm gonna send it through my middle finger. be able to see any fireworks shows from my apartment. Wow, the violin is like a half step flat. It's driving me nuts.
All right, slowly getting there. check that out. Sounds like really stupid. Bring the kingdom home to your breakfast table. Inside specially marked boxes of General Mills cereals, like Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Reese's Peanut Butter Puffs, and Cheerios, find a stick-on patch featuring your favorite Disney's The Lion King characters, like Simba, Nala, and Rafiki. While supplies last, head to your local grocery store and hunt down participating cereals to collect all six patches. Disney's The Lion King. Roaring Ooh, the that's evil. That's evil. You have to get all six different cereals to get the collection. That's evil. Alright, let's see if we can find something that's not going to make my um, OCD go nuts because somebody in this live recording is flat. It's driving me nuts. sleep in today. Why am I yawning? Okay. done with the top section here.
It's not even dark yet, yet guys. Stop the fireworks shows. Wait till it's dark. I swear. I swear they'll be better. More merkin. There we go. It's a little bit more. And we'll have the top mostly done. Or the base done, anyway. All right, there's that. Now let's just secure the bottom.
All right. I think that's all we're going to need for now. So let's put it up on the mannequin and test it out. about that. all of a sudden. Hopefully it'll kick in here in a second. Oh, it's recommending that I do E6000. camera come on focus focus all right it doesn't want to focus sorry guys not glue, um, sanding, sandpaper that's better than 150. Actually, you know what? I think I have 200. Let me go check. I do. I have 220. Oh, hey, look at that. My camera decided it wanted to focus while I was gone. 
How fantastic of it.
right, yep. This is my new favorite stuff. I'm buying all this. This is so amazing. That seam is gone. Like, gone, gone. I couldn't even tell there was a seam there until I got right on it. on this that I'm absolutely in love with. That seam right there, freaking gone. Seam right here, freaking gone. You can tell there's a seam right there, and you can tell there's a seam right there, but you can't on this side. Like, see that? That seam would have been right there where my nail is, and you cannot see that anymore. This one's a little more noticeable, but I think with the fine finish, you're not gonna ever see that again. All right, so I need a fine brush. There we go. I'm gonna get a thing of scrap fabric to wipe this off with. All right. This is my first time using this stuff. It says you want to brush it on, brush on a thin coat with a fine brush. said our son was too small for surgery. Children's Hospital Colorado innovated a way to make it possible. Which would you trust with your child's life? Children's Hospital Colorado. Here, it's different. This is the sound of your office. Ooh. And this is the sound of you leaving that office early to make it a liney Friday by stopping by your favorite bar for a line of Google summer shandy with your best pals. Much better. 
I'm John Lyon Kugel, here to remind you that the weekend starts now, so go enjoy it. Lyon Kugel Summer Shandy, crisp beer with refreshing lemonade flavor. Grab a friend, find a bar, and make today a Liney Friday. The Jacob Lyon Kugel Brewing Company, Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, celebrate responsibly. When we set out to create Engage, we were well aware that Denver wasn't in need of yet another jewelry store. So we knew we had to be more relevant and appeal to today's shopper. For example, we know that you want to add your own personal touches to make your ring extra special. So we offer proprietary tools that allow you to custom design a ring. Plus, we have designers and jewelers right here in store who can help you with your creation. What makes us different is everything. Welcome to Engage in the Cherry Creek Shopping Center. Yeah, this is a cover of an 80s song. Virtual high five to the first person who knows who this is or what, what the original song is. Come on, lurkers. Counting on you. Nothing? Lurker's got nothing? Dun dun. Odin, please don't use my dresser as a sh place to sharpen your claws. Oh, come on, lurkers. You should know this song. It's pretty popular. Odin, stop. All right. Money, 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 Good job, Odin. You knock shit down. Do you feel better? Oh, this is almost turning into like a glass finish. This is really cool. I never thought I could get this out of foam. Ah, oh, this stuff is so amazing! Oh, 
But it's already dry. That looks so cool. I never thought I was gonna get that flat a finish on this. Ah, oh, that looks so amazing. It's already dry. It's already freaking dry. All right, I'm gonna go wash my brush out. All right. Okay, so let's go to 150 grit. Take off that. There we go.
So for those of you just joining, I don't know if you are all the same as what were her earlier. Uh, I am working on the boob plates for uh, Lunara, which you can see down there in the bottom corner. Uh, I am what I'm. I'm using um, EVA foam. Is what this gray stuff, well, white stuff was. And I've used a filler on top of it from Prop Monkey Studios. And it is their rapid finish, or, or rapid fill, sorry. Um, and it has essentially filled in the pores of the foam here better in my opinion, better, way better than Plasti Dip ever could. And I will be continuing to use this stuff instead of Plasti Dip. This is amazing stuff right here. the most about this is this stuff is flexible it's not gonna crack it's not gonna warp and it sticks this is like my new favorite thing never using plastic dip again like ever so There it is. I'm going to dump some of this in the trash. Okay. Deodorant and enter a world of mesmerizing natural scents that help keep you fresh. 
Our deodorant actually works. Never formulated with artificial fragrance, aluminum, or propylene glycol. And as always, our products are certified vegan and cruelty-free. Make the switch to Schmitz and change the way you think about natural. Find us at Schmitz.com. Oh, this is a fantastic time for my face to itch. Bring the kingdom home to your breakfast table. Inside specially marked boxes of General Mills cereals, like Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Reese's Peanut Butter Puffs, and Cheerios, find a stick-on patch featuring your favorite Disney's The Lion King characters, like Simba, Nala, and Rafiki. While supplies last, head to your local grocery store and hunt down participating cereals to collect all six patches. Disney's The Lion King, pouring onto the big screen July 19th. I just want to point out that this one had a lot of extra issues that the other side didn't have. And they're pretty much gone now. There's still some stuff right in there, right in there. That seam is still there, this seam is still there, but there's really not much I'm going to be able to do about those unless I sand it all off and start on those again. Okay, so the next thing I want to start working on is I want to start working on this plate down here. What color fabric is that? Whoa, that's not what I want. It's kind of a of an orangish reddish color actually it looks like the same color as her body thing okay so while that is drying we're gonna put this up on the back to dry All right, Cancer Glue, where are you? Cancer glue is not in here. 
but we're going to need these for the wig. You stick it in here. We're good. Look at that. I think this needs to be in non-stretchy fabric. I think this needs to be um, stiff fabric. So let us, oh man, does that look nice. It's got a nice shine to it too. Look at that. That is amazing stuff. Yes, 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 yes. Can't see any fireworks from my apartment. Darn, I'm so sad. Okay. So I also started working on the horns. So as you can see, this one's a little bit more cut down than, than this one because this is as huge. These are going to sit up here. Like that. Obviously, they're not going to be that wide, but yeah, they're going to they're going to be a lot smaller, and I got to figure out how to cut them. Okay, let's go this way. Um, so let's take all the sharp objects off of the thing that could potentially fall on our feet. That would be great. There it is. All right, so guess what I got today? I got some more pantyhose. sitting on nothing I guess oh I knew it was sitting on something glue gun. Do I have no, oh, I put it out over here.
Oh yeah. I also wrote a list for myself yesterday while I was on lunch. So, this is my all items to do on this costume so far. Or I think in total. And I, th I think I just crossed one of these off for the cloth under the breastplate, because that's done. Shave down the foam on the body, that's done. I got the pantyhose for the legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 twenty-eight things to do, and I've only gotten two done. Woohoo! <laughs> twenty days left. Twenty days until I have to have this mostly done. No pressure. None at all. All right, so we're gonna let that set, or get get hot, not set. Uh, I don't think I need this anymore since I changed the way I was doing that. Need that, need that, need that. Set that over there. Oh, fireworks are going off. Guys, it's Merca time. Merca time. God, I hate this stuff. I'm gonna end up breaking two of these again. I'm gonna break all of these, I swear, before I leave this apartment. They're so fucking cheap, I hate them. I hate these things so much. Yeah, they're all happening north of me. Jesus, this thing is taking forever to heat up. Okay, buddy. 
grilling season, you only need three things to man the grill. A little flame, an awesome playlist, and the incredible flavor of Grillmates. America's number one grilling seasoning. The greatest combo of high quality spices. Just flame and flavor. Find it in the spice aisle. On July 12th, the most outrageous comedy of the year arrives. What a good guy, he's a cop, bomb, what over. Critics are calling Stuber the funniest movie of the summer. Don't take back. <laughs> Stuber, where you are, in the history by 12. Let's consider the secret life of the innermost nesting doll. Living most of her life in the dark inside the other nesting dolls, she has plenty of time to think, if she could. Sadly, she has no brain. However, when an innermost nesting doll hears that Geico not only saves people money, but also has been providing great service for over 75 years, she thinks it's obvious you should switch. Because yes, switching to Geico is a no-brainer. Pity the innermost nesting doll and her lot in life. Using an overpriced trash bag? Pricey, pricey, pricey! A bag that breaks? Whippy, whippy, whippy! Or a smelly bag? Stinky, stinky, stinky! Time to switch to hefty, ultra-strong trash bags. Always at an ultra-low price. Hefty, hefty, hefty! They're our best bags yet, and they cost less than Glad Force Flex, where sold head to head. So you'll be... Happy, happy, happy! Hefty, ultra-strong, with Arm & Hammer odor control. Also available at Hefty, hefty, hefty! Hello, Bubaloo Cosplay. How are you? What are you doing this fine Merkin evening? Not watching fireworks, that's for sure. Unless they've already happened where you're at. Or you're like some of my other followers and not in the United States. Unfortunately, I'm in Australia. No fireworks for you. Oh, and thank you for the follow. I super appreciate it. You know, it's it's really not all that that great. Trust me. It's um, I'm not even watching them. I can hear them going off, but I'm not watching them. So you know. Just me and my costumes. That's what I'm. That's what I'm working on here. So I'm actually working on Lunara. So you see this up here? I, well, I gotta get fully out of the way here. This is a deer's behind. So, yeah. Taking a break from cosplay work, thought I'd pop around Twitch for a bit, and here we are. Yeah, thanks, thanks again. Like I, I've been sitting here with like one person watching me for the past what, three and a half hours. <laughs> yeah, well, this is for TwitchCon, so I really hope that it looks promising enough that they choose me to go to uh, 
to be a finalist. That would be pretty awesome. I should also point out that um, this costume is, we're hitting, let's see, this is 14 and a half hours of work, all of this, because I didn't start until uh, TwitchCon cosplay was announced. So I, uh, I got a bit of a late start, I think, but... I'm working a lot faster than I thought I would actually be doing on this, just like in general. Yeah, I'm uh, pretty pretty excited about this. Like, I've never done a cosplay quite this size, and I've never competed in anything larger than Denver Comic Con. So, I really hope they pick me. I'm like, please, 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 pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me. foot just to make sure that's how I did it. Yeah, it hangs over the back a little bit, but nobody's going to notice that. Okay. fun part. I didn't know this that these already had a heel piece pre-stretched for you. Didn't even bother to notice. Doesn't this look like fun? I am working on one of the back legs, yes. Um, so I, I, I haven't really seen uh, much of a uh, tutorial on how to do this, like anywhere. So I'm, I'm literally pulling this out of my ass as we speak. So 
have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know if this is... Well, I know that this is going to work because I've already done it once. But... Like, it's... I've, I've never seen anybody's tutorials on how to make these. I've seen, I've, all right, that's not true. I saw pictures of Ginny D's, but it didn't show her fluffing out the legs. It didn't show, it, it showed her the frame, how she got the frame on, the pants when she sewed them for the, the person part of the body, and then like the whole thing on after all the fabric was on. Like it didn't show any of the drafting process, nothing. So I'm, I'm doing all this on, on my own, essentially. I have no idea what I'm doing. I feel when I'm putting pantyhose on my own legs because I don't do this at all What I want to avoid is any part of this getting, A, getting runs. I had some really bad run problems on my last one. Um, or getting uh, some of this, like, too, too gathered in one section and causing, like, a ripple like that. Oh, 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 oh. Just knocked my glue gun off, off the table and onto the ground. Yeah, in the middle of my last uh, live stream, I actually had the fire alarm start going off. And it freaked me out because I had no idea why they were going off. And it turns out I had a, there was a water line break in the garage and uh, it was caused by a truck running into the water line, the main water line. My apartment complex is filled with uh, trucks that men own that uh, I think, I think they're like compensating for something. I don't know. They're huge trucks. I don't even know how they get them in the garage to begin with. So now that I've gotten that all on, I got to find my fabric scissors and I'm going to cut this second leg off. And I'm going to put it back over all of this. It's a Nissan Silver of SUVs event and save big on our entire family of SUVs. Whether you're camping or lounging on the beach, Nissan has an SUV. This is kind of like a double cover. Nissan.com and your local Nissan. 
Nissan store today. I'll tell you a story. Oh, gotta run. <laughs> Already. Slowly getting all of this set on there and nicely done. Oh, sounds like it's a uh, Murka explosion finale time. Yes, I'm holding a weird part of a leg. You're a good kitty. Yes, you are. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, so let's cut our holes. dropped one. Oh, that one went inside. Fuck. All right, I hope you can come back out. There it is.
Ow, that was a stool on my foot. Owie, owie, owie. Alright. Lean. Does it actually lean? It does. It's like Here. All right, so we got to do some contact cement on that. off stuffing for shape and painting hose for leggings okay we are moving along we got four out of the 28 items crossed off Suggestions on raids that they want to do. Oh, I hate this song so much. just about to end this because I didn't have anybody watching. How are you on this fine Merca day? Drunk. Okay. That's that's exactly how you want to be on, on Merca day. That's how you know you're a real Merkin. I kind of want to get off and, and go play some Heroes of the Storm because like I, I like seriously Look at Lenara. Like, I've got this piece almost done. I've got the other one over here, which is done and ready for paint. So I've got all of that up. 
I have, wow, that was close. I have this that's uh, ready for priming. So as you can see, there's, there's a bit of a difference. This one is not done and this one is done. So this one has the fine finish on it. This one is just the, the uh, rapid fill. So I gotta sand this one and put the fine finish on it to make it look the same. But I can go ahead and keep doing that. Oh, there's an Aries in my seat. Pull out and look. Look, there's a cat in my seat. Can we share, buddy? <laughs> That's a no, mom. I don't want to share. Oh, God. Okay. Thank you for the host. Oh my goodness. We're sharing whether you like it or not. Yes, Kitty not happy for me disturbing his seat, but you know what? I don't care. <laughs> so, I'm gonna coat this in gesso, gesso, whatever you wanna call it. If I can find my paintbrush. What did I do with it? All right, looks like my paintbrush is still out by the sink. You can have your spot for a moment there, bud. I will have it when I get back. Kitty lumbar pillow. Yes, he is. He makes really good. He's fat. He's fluffy. It's a, it's a really great lumbar pillow. So this is actually made from Warbla covered foam. care what the back looked like because uh, why am I painting the back I'm just gonna get it stuck to the paper that was a bad decision there we go Have I ever been to OhioCon? I have not. So how am I, how am I making the headpiece? Uh, give me a second and I will explain it. Um, I'm gonna go wash my brush out.
Okay, so the question is, how am I going to make the headpiece? So behind me, I have several pieces of blue insulation foam. So as you can see here, that is the drawing that I'm going to go off of. So it's going to be kind of thin at the top. It's going to shave down. Then I'm going to have this, uh, this side piece right here. It's going to come out and down. And then it's going to come into one, one singular piece here. So it's just going to be this thick. Um, in the center, this piece right here is going to be uh, cut off. So um, that's what's going to go there. And then this is going to sit up like that on my head. It's going to be pretty big, but I'm also going to have a big wig section that sticks up behind the back of my head too, that this is going to counteract the weight of. So I got those. Let's see. Focusing can be hard, especially when something's distracting you every few songs. So I got this this nice brick red that I'm planning on using for um, Lunara's breastplates here. Woo. Let's try not to stab our hands. That would be great. Eh. early to make it a liney friday by stopping by your favorite bar for a line of google summer shandy with your best pals Much all right so i'm basically going to do the whole thing am i going to join it all together or are you using any led lights so what i'm going to use to join it all together is this stuff you can't really tell what that is this is um that plastic uh plastic canvas that people use for sewing yarn stuff so I'm using that as kind of like a like a hood thing to sit up on top of my head and get the the length that I need in the back so I don't know if I bought enough I'm probably probably gonna need more but that's what I'm using for that and then I'm sticking a whole bunch of flowers and stuff on it And I chose a lot of autumnish colors because this is the the harvest lunara. Samus three years ago it was the last time I went. Huh, okay. I've actually, I don't think I've ever seen a Dark Samus costume. I've only seen the regular one. Uh, links are allowed if you want to link it in here.
It's pulling up. My computer's pretty slow. Oh, that looks really cool. What'd you make it out of? Is uh, EVA foam? No, that looks like EVA. What did you seal it with? I bought the fabric for this and the paint for this at two separate times today and I was really really hoping that they weren't like awful together. I did a fantastic job. If I do say so myself I'm gonna toot my horn, own horn toot toot. Yeah yeah. Also, if you can imagine that um, this right here that I'm working on, this is EVA. EVA with uh, some craft foam laid over it. And silicone piece molds of the pieces and made a plastic rendering. Took those and ran three coats of Bondo and fiberglass for structure. Yeah, I've done that without breaking. Then Chicago screwed everything into a place on a Pacific water body full. Oh wow, a full diving suit. Wow. I'm sure. I'm sure you were sweating your ass off in that. I did the same thing with Bondo a few years ago. It just ended up cracking everywhere. It just, it looks cool, it looks shiny, but it's like a one-time use only. And I was really sad with that because I spent, I spent a significant amount of time. I did the same thing. I did a, a cardstock base 
with uh, resin and Bondo over it. And then uh, put some fiberglass and resin all, uh, fiberglass resin along the inside so that it gave it some structure and uh, painted it. It was my Daedric armor from Skyrim. Um, was not fun to wear. It was not fun to wander around in. It weighed a lot. Um, but it looked cool. It's actually sitting right over there. I'm, I'm very rapidly running out of room to put all of my massive cosplays. There's, there's absolutely no room for this, this costume when it's done. Nowhere. Does that stop me from doing costumes? No! I'm actually thinking about getting a, a changing to a three-bedroom apartment just so that I can have more room. So I actually uh, decided against using Plasti Dip for this costume, and I'm super, super happy I did. So that Plasti Dip just, I don't know, there was something about it where I, I, it looked cool, but it looked very beginner-ish. I guess, I guess I can't really say anything, that was my second chest plate ever. Well, ch second chest plate made out of EVA. Alright, be right back. I'm gonna go wash my brush out. You were trying so desperately to take the entire chair over, buddy. Had to pull the back off and construct a battery pack to run over 800 LED lights and six full-color blue bulbs along with three small fans. Yeah! The two in the helmet, one in the battery pack. The fans ran on a D-cell battery. LEDs ran on AA. I had to convert the LED battery packs over to D-cell. Yeah. I did something similar. So this that dress that you see back here in the corner, beyond um, my stuff here, that white dress right there, that has 60 feet of LED lights in it, and um, it uh, it was it was the the LED lights that you put like behind computers and TVs and whatnot. Um, so I had to convert it into a, a battery pack and not an outlet. So that was the biggest problem I had there. Um, see, I had to wander around wearing, wearing a battery, 12 volt battery st stuck to my side. It was a huge amount of work, took over 1800 bucks and eight months to create. And it does look like a wedding dress until you turn on the lights. And it was actually based on a wedding dress pattern. But it is not a wedding dress. So that dress is actually Princess Aurora. You know, that battery didn't get hot. Or at least the one that I had in that costume. Didn't get hot.
Yeah, no shit. It didn't get hot at all. Um, I had the battery in a... Shit. Every time I move, I hit that thing. I know there's a battery over here. Come on. I guess there isn't a battery over there. Let's see if they are over here. Nope. What do I do with the batteries? Aha! I found it. So, this is the battery that I used. It has an on off switch on the top. It's actually fully charged. Um, and this port right here is what plugged in um, to the, the rest of the dress. And it probably weighs a pound or so, maybe a little more. But um, this was like 40 or 50 dollars for this pack, but it didn't get hot. Um, and it lasted for three hours. Three hours on red, pink, and six on blue. I don't know why, but that's that. I got them on Amazon. Doing that damn thing for three days, taking an hour or two breaks in food. Well, yeah. Yeah, that. I would stand all day in that thing. I would do the same thing. Really? Well, you know, now you can convert it because this, this cost like 40 or 50, like I said, 40 or 50 dollars on Amazon. I'll convert it. Then you can wear it again. And it'll, it won't be as hot. gut in the damn thing now. <laughs> anyway, I might have ate too much many Chipotle burritos and drank too many proper 12s. Yeah, you know, I, I, I have to get into shape for the Lunara. So I went running this morning and I damn near died. Running is the end of all things sugar, all things comforting at this point. Yeah, you would be correct. You're, I mean, you're not wrong. But I don't want Lenara to look like a overweight, obviously works in IT body. She's supposed to be a really skinny half deer thing.
Whoever thought Dark Samus would give up and lay on the couch. <laughs> yeah, you know. You know, I, I mean, to be fair, it does kind of sound like something that a, a, a dark something would do, you know? They're like, oh, fuck, you know, like, good guys are just going to come in and they're just going to ruin my parade and they're going to, they're just going to stomp me. So what's the point anymore? Samus for beer and rubber feet. Yeah, yeah, that's about right. Oh man, I am never ever using Plasti Dip again. This stuff is so amazing. the stuff that I used this time, which I'm currently sanding off. So this, like I said, this is EVA foam. When have you ever seen anybody sand EVA foam like I'm sanding EVA foam right now? foam and I put some rapid fill um, stuff I don't even know what it is uh, on this so as you can see on the back here there's a big seam right there yeah yeah you can see that there's another one eh. Right there. You see that? You see him on this side? Like, that is ridiculous. It's because I pointed them out. Yeah, but that, that's what's left of the one seam there. And then that's, that's what's left of the one seam there. Like, that is ridiculous. You can't see them anymore, hardly. Yeah, so I am using, the first stuff I used was this. Uh, this is Rapid Fill. This is for EVA foam. It fills in all the big pores on this. Um, and now that I've got it sanded with 220, I'm actually going to use this fine finish. So that's what's going to go on after this. Oh, looks like I still got some sections here to sand down.
There we go. That's better. Okay. Yeah, exactly. That's the point. Like, I'm super happy with that. And you know how, how hard EVA foam seams are to get even. All I've done to these is glue them with contact cement, sand them with a Dremel, and then put this, uh, this uh, rapid fill on it. I haven't done anything else. Huge time saver. And this will be a really, really light part of the costume, too. to make my Daedric armor. Except I didn't make molds of it. I just put the bomber right on top of it. What in the actual fuck are you playing? This is a Carpet Clawney song. But that is not Carpet Clawney singing! I have no idea what's going on right now.
trying to figure out who that background vocalist is because I've heard it before. The the singing one is kind of annoying and whiny. All right. Tried to request a song, said song, said wasn't working. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm getting the same thing. I wonder what's going on. Yeah, I have, I have three labs open. Let's see, recent. Fox combo, please. At Raisin Cane's, we're all about quality. We mix cane sauce in our restaurants every day. And our chicken is hand battered and cooked to order. Our Texas toast is grilled with just. Yeah, it says no, there's no songs in the queue. And our lemonade is always fresh this squeezed. I don't know. There's some weird. There, hey, there we, wait, there we go. Because it makes a difference. Raising Cane's chicken fingers, one love. Wait, wait, wait. Macy's fireworks show. My computer runs really slowly. Macy's July 4th sale. Find everything you need for summer and take an extra 10 to 20 percent off with your coupon or Macy's card. Save 25 to 50 percent on swimwear for the family. Take 40 percent off during our great sandal sale. Plus, find our lowest prices of the season on outdoor furniture. I don't know if it's working or not. But. Now at Macy's, savings off sale prices exclusions apply. Macy's Star Rewards members can earn towards Star Money. Ask a store colleague or visit Macy's.com slash Star Money for details. It's playing to me now. This is a uh, total bottom cover. Children of them. I like their older stuff, but stealing some of the chair back there, kitten. Try to figure out how to play this without killing your wrist is near. Yeah. Well, this. Well, you know, I'm a bit of a musician myself, and. For me, what would be killing me would be a picking because I can't pick to save my life. But a lot of this was um, like three, three, six, or three, six on a base stretches, which are atrocious. Yeah, I can see all those, like, uh, the switching between the 4131, one, that, that would, that would kill my fingers, not my wrist, necessarily. Are you in a, a bard, uh, tuning, or are you in a standard tuning?
five stretches during the verses, it's barred. Really? I thought he played in a drop standard. I didn't I didn't think it was a barred tuning. in a drop C. And yeah, yeah, I'm a bass player. Um, I'm actually pretty much everything. This is almost dry already. This is ridiculous. Are you actually, do you have actually a, a drummer in the background? Or is that like a drum sampler. All right, Kitty, you can have your chair back. Oh yeah, you changed it to bar two? Okay, that makes more sense. So I was gonna say, I know I've attempted to play this song before, and it was not barred. It was a standard tuning. It was like I said, it was like a C drop C standard or something like that. Hammer on pull offs. This isn't me, though. To be honest, I believe this was the original. Didn't give me an option when choosing the song. Interesting. Um, yeah, I don't, know. I don't remember where I got my tabs from. I attempted to play on my brother's guitar. It did not work out very well. Oh dear. I'm definitely going to need a handler in this costume. right when it came out, when it was really popular. Um, yeah, I, uh, I failed playing it because I couldn't, I couldn't get the, I could get the sweeps, but I couldn't, I couldn't get anything else. What do they call a handler when you have a human dressed in a horse costume? Technically it's a deer costume and it would still be a handler. <laughs>
So right now I'm actually working on getting the um, the body section up. Hi, Fear. Hi, buddy. more progress too. <laughs> Trust me. way. That's interesting. Oh, that's why. It just got folded over. All right. So let us go back to in the music. Where did we leave off here? Oh, goodness. Where did we leave off? Hey. Has new breakfast ah, breakfast. that's loud. Yeah. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Holy oh, shit. But these are no microwave and go wraps. These are slow I was in the middle of a commercial, that's what happened. Avocado go getters. They're maple bacon, eggy smoked gouda bundles of portable bliss. And they all pair perfectly with our new cold brews. All this can be yours in an instant with rapid pickup. For breakfast that's fast. Have a good night. Uh, appreciate you stopping by. Food as it should be. It's the summer of Hobbs and Shaw. Drugs and what you call an ice cold can will pass. Jason's still giving away more quick champagne. Robin Fast and Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw. Rated PG 13 in theaters August 2nd.
That is my foot. I'm not gonna step on you. So much extra muslin here. Is the English version or the Finnish version? Because the Finnish version is fun. Ah, oh, it's the English version. Wait, sorry.
Almost fell over there. Company, please. Now, Raisin Cane's were all about quality. We mix cane sauce in our restaurants every day. And our chicken is hand battered and cooked to order. Our Texas toast is grilled with just the right amount of butter and garlic. And our lemonade is always freshly squeezed. Love the window. And why do we do all this? Because it makes a difference. Raisin Cane's chicken fingers, one love. <laughs> That was not nice, dear. 
Just 30 seconds of stand up presented by me, Kevin Hart. You know, stay here, man. It's new going out. What do you think? I'm gonna go get dressed up, go to a nice restaurant, eat delicious food, be waiting on hand and foot, look at the dessert menu. All right, wait, well, I talked myself into it. I'm going out tonight. Going out is the new going out. And I'm gonna pay for it all with my Freedom Unlimited card and earn 1.5% cash back on it. You're always earning the Freedom Unlimited. Subject to credit approval. Restrictions, limitations apply. Credit yeah, what do you mean, Chase honey? Like Chase, make more of what's yours. Are you trying to tell me it's time to go to bed? some padding there, but that's okay. Oh, I'm starting to hurt. I think we're going to save that for tomorrow. But we have, we have most of our deer body done. Just got to get this section done too. I got to get the pants done. So yeah, I, uh, I think I'm going to call the stream here. Uh, I've got a lot of stuff done today. Um, so I got part of the boob plate painted. Um, I got the other part mostly done. I got the body section ready um, to be have that stuff glued onto it. Um, I started working on the muslin copy uh, so that I have a pattern to cut out with and then yeah so I think when I get the muslin copy up I'm actually going to start um, yeah that, that's gonna I'm gonna have to take that one off to figure out what's going on with that That should not be sitting that far out like that. Um, but yeah, so we're going to start working on all of the muslin and then the fur. And oh my gosh, I might actually be done with this costume in less than a month. Holy cow. Now I still have the wig to go. But um, yeah, so I want to thank you guys all for hanging out and requesting songs and stuff. That was cool. I liked it. I liked uh, all the stuff that was going on. And, um, who am I going to raid? Let's find somebody to raid, unless you guys have a suggestion. Nobody that I follow is online right now. So, let's see. you who's doing stuff in the makers and crafting channel can't imagine that there's very many of us doing stuff tonight considering it's a horror day oh i got pretty far up there twitchcon cosplay contest let's go to this one this looks cool fairy cosplay i think is what it is yes 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 we're gonna go raid P-H-A-E-R-Y-C-O-S-P-L-A-Y. All right, so we are going to go read Fairy Cosplay in their TwitchCon cosplay contest. So have a good night, you guys. And I will see you Sunday.
Sunday. Sunday. Okay, bye.